Hey everybody, it's Danielle, and I am here to talk about my 14-week post-op vertical sleeve surgery. So, Friday was my 14-week. I lost 4.4 pounds, so that puts me at 234.2. My highest weight was 300 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 291. So, from my highest weight, I am down 65.8 pounds. And from my day of surgery weight, I am down 56.8. So that's crazy. Um, it has been a very interesting week. Uh, started out really good um, over the weekend. My husband and I went out to dinner and I'm gonna insert a picture. This was my dinner. I had a meat, cheese, arugula board and it had some jam on the side. It was so good. Um, I never really thought to put jam with lunch meat and cheese and arugula but it was super good and that lasted me three meals uh, after that normally what happens the weekend after thanksgiving is our town has a boat parade with all the boats and they get decorated and they have christmas music and all that so we went down and watched that after the boat parade my husband and i did go to this adorable little candy store actually it's a large candy store it's like two stories <laughs> Um, it has all these sweets and everything and we went in and I had I got a little box of candy it was good it's the only candy I've had since Halloween and on Halloween I just had a few small pieces as well so I thought maybe I might have dumped you know like I thought maybe this was gonna make me dump you know the candy the sweetness but it didn't um, I just had a, a little bit and that was it and I'm just being honest because I had candy <laughs> But that was it. I haven't had any uh, real sweets since then. Um, but it was nice. So Monday rolls around and there were some changes with my husband's job. That has been stressful. That has been extremely s stressful. And even though I said last week that I wanted to start looking, you know, for myself, I need to put that on hold and I need to, and I've had my focus and energy on my husband right now with that situation so that has sucked greatly um, aside from that I went to the doctors uh, with the surgeon's appointment I had my 90 day one he said I have been losing weight really well and I am on track and um, he did comment about the constipation he told me that I should probably lower the amount of protein I eat in a day and I thought that was pretty interesting to hear my doctor tell me to lower my protein to about 40 grams a day meaning uh, I should cut out protein shakes and have food instead of a protein shake as my meal so um, I still have some in the fridge and I'm gonna go through them I just haven't been going through them every day since since my appointment with him so I've been trying to have a breakfast you know maybe with a little sausage patty or a turkey sausage patty with some egg whites or something but it's just it's kind of hard because it's so convenient just to make a, a protein coffee to go um, but I'm trying to do better so that way it'll help with the constipation I did go on Wednesday for blood work uh, they said that um, they'll let me know if anything comes back off or odd and it's only been a few days and it's the weekend now so I haven't heard anything back yet so we'll see um let's see here I have been extremely cold at night and I know that's a thing when you lose a lot of a lot of weight that you get cold but we've had a few cold days last week and I one night I had socks on and about four blankets I was that cold um, I refuse to turn on the heat just because I feel like it just gets so warm and you can just cut the heat with a knife i would rather have a cold room and just pile on the blankets <laughs> so um yeah the being cold is definitely a thing i'm like always chilly now uh let's see here i wrote down a bunch of things on my phone that i wanted to talk about i have noticed that my wedding rings my wedding ring and wedding band i'm not wearing it right now i try not to wear it around the house and um just because if i can clean it or something i don't want to bang my ring around but it is it has gotten so big on me and it's to the point where i can just like spin it around my 
my hand, my finger, and it just goes around. So I'm gonna have to get something to keep it in place because I'm afraid that, you know, if I'm walking or maybe I, I use my hands a lot when I talk, so maybe I'm like using a hand gesture and I don't want the thing to fling and go somewhere and lose it or, you know, if I'm at work and I'm not paying attention, I don't know. So I need to get one of those little, those little things in the back. So I have noticed too in the shower and I, um, it wasn't a ton, but it was enough for me to notice. I was deep conditioning my hair and I started noticing when I was like rinsing out the conditioner, you know, I was like kind of fingering it out. I was getting lots of strands of hair in my hands, which normally doesn't happen. Um, so I rinsed everything out and when I got out of the shower, it was like I had strands of hair all on my chest and there were strands of hair on the bottom of my tub. And I was like, holy crap, like I know, I know this is a part of it, but I got scared. I've been taking biotin for about a month or so. Um, so I, I just, I don't know if this is like the start of my hair thinning or, you know, hair loss. I'm not sure. So anything that you guys do or anything that you have any tips on or anything that you can suggest, please let me know in the comments. Uh, just so I know uh, it's a scary thing. I know it's only temporary and um, I knew it was going to happen. It just took me by surprise when I was taking a shower and I just, I don't know, it was weird seeing like all these like strands of hair just like stuck to me because you know, you're wet, you're in the shower and I don't know. So it's been a blah week, you know, it's a stressful week. Um, just not with the vertical sleeve stuff, but just with personal things that's been going on, changes. So I'm hoping that next week is a better week. And um, you know, I really appreciate you guys and I'm so grateful for everything. And I'm going to definitely try to, I don't wanna say vlog because I really don't think my life's that interesting, but I'm gonna to try to maybe get some of the footage of being up in Seattle. I think that might be fun. I always like watching stuff like that and um, I'll do my best. I don't think it's going to be great A vlogger quality, but I'll try. I also went shopping um, this past weekend and I got some new stuff. Like I had to seriously clean out my closet and um, I got rid of so many things. I took it to a donation center and um, I, I mean, my closet is so bare because the 3X closes, I can just, I can't wear them. I had to get um, some new pants. I got new sweaters because all my sweatshirts and, and like knit sweaters and things like that are huge. I have some shirts that they just hang on me. And my bras, I had to get a couple of new bras just because I can, I'm, I'm sorry if nobody wants to hear about bras and boobs, but I can like stick my hand in my bra and there's just so much space. It's crazy. So I know I said before I did buy some new clothes and I was supposed to do a haul and or a try on video, which I love those. I just feel weird doing it. I, I attempted to do it a few times and I just feel so silly, but I love watching them and I got some cool stuff. I'll try it again. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. You know, you, you have, you hold on to clothes for so long. Well, at least I do, especially you know, being the same size for such a long time. You know, you have some good thoughts and good memories with some of those clothes. It was just really interesting to be going through my closet and getting rid of probably over 50% of my clothes. Anything that was a 3X or size 22, 24 is gone. I, I just can't fit in it. I cannot make it work anymore. So it's kind of cool and it's just kind of like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh God, I hope I don't get back to this point again. Like, I hope I don't ever see a 3X or a size 22, 24 again. And it makes me worried a little bit. Like, am I going to be able to maintain this? Am I going to be able to maintain my weight and even losing more weight than what I have I don't know it's just it's been a week and you know I'm, just, I'm really glad I lost the 4.4 pounds I'm not proud of myself for eating candy but it is what it is I guess 
and I feel like every week I'm coming on here saying that I've eaten something or I've had a little bit of this or I've had a little bit of this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling actually really bad about that right now, sitting here talking about it because it's like, oh, you know, I'm being honest, but I'm like, shit, am I eating way too much crap? But I only do it in like little bits. Am I now? Am I trying to justify it? I don't know. But I mean, the weight is coming off and I don't overindulge when I do have sweets and things like that. So I don't feel incredibly terrible about it because I feel like if I cut everything out from my life, I will be one of those people that feel like now I'm gonna binge, now I'm gonna just eat a bunch of it instead of just being able to tell myself, hey, you can have a little bit here, you can have a little bit there. Like when we go to Seattle next week, I, Top Pots Donuts, if, you've, if you're in the Seattle area or if you've gone up there, Top Pot Donuts is amazing. I plan on having a Top Pot, Top, the a Top Pot Donut. I plan on having one of those. My husband is extremely excited to go to this amazing burger place. It's Red Mill Burgers. Um, they have these, oh my God, these burgers are phenomenal. They have these massive piles of bacon. When they make the burgers, they're just sitting there. It's cooked bacon uh, and their onion rings are amazing. Now, I'm not gonna order any onion rings. I will probably have one or two of my husband's. I will probably have a burger with some bacon on it without the bun. And I probably won't be able to finish up the whole patty because when I have them at home, I can't finish them. So I think it's okay to modify yourself when you're on vacation. Um, but I definitely am looking forward to a donut, just one. But um, I'm excited about that. And it's just gonna be so much fun. We love it up there. And I know this video, I am rambling all over the damn place. And I am so sorry. Um, I don't know, a lot on my mind. A lot's been happening. So I hope next week's a better week. Uh, so anyways, please let me know about the hair. If you guys take anything more than the biotin or if you do anything special or use anything, any type of shampoo or anything, I'm, I'm all ears. I absolutely want to hear. Um, I hope you all are doing great and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.